What is up, my good peeps? This your boy Sway back with another video. Today is finally the day to install my PWM. First thing first, gotta run this wire right here. Thick, thick mother. I should have got 16 gauge to the front. Slip it through that hole. Or if I have space, because it is a tight fit. It went through. There we go. of doing probably so like passing it right here so most likely under here So this is temporary. Let's see if I'm getting some coaches from this right here. I was gonna bootleg it and just tap into something and just plug it. But um, I've decided to do it the right way. I'm gonna go to AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts to get me a um, adder circuit. And uh, oh, this is what I got right here, fuse tap. And this right here is to just ground the ground from um, the thing. And I see a couple grounds over here that I can use on the right side. So now let's get to uh, finishing this thing up. Should take not too long at all. Cause I already have the wire ran. All I gotta do is just take this off and then boom, golden. I wonder if it could fit right here. It can, but it might be loose. I don't want to cut out a hole for it. Mm. Oh, actually I can mount it. Just gotta take, just gotta take this back plate off. Like, put it like right here or something. Oh, even right in front of me, shit. Like right here. This car ain't going nowhere. I'm not worried about resale value. Oh, probably like right here. Easy. I don't think that would be good because then when I flip the switch, yeah, that won't be good. Should probably mount that thing on the steering wheel. You never know. It might work like right here in the middle. You know what would happen. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, I can just mount it just like that. But the unfortunate thing is, I don't think I can get a screw. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, nope, I can't. Oh, well. It'll fit. Either way. It'll fit. All right. So, moment of truth. Let's see if this goes in. Because I don't believe I bought this before. Because 
if it don't fit, then I got this for no reason. Here we go. I need to figure out which fuse I'm gonna tap, but oh, I'm, it's gonna fit. I already see it. Just put it anywhere. Put it right over here. And nope, it does not. It is too small. So I had to come back and switch it from the ATR H8, I think four, to this one right here. This one is a perfect match. I made sure of it, see, right over here at AutoZone. So let's go finish up this install because this is taking too long. And it's supposed to be a little quick, easy install. All right, so I found which one I'm gonna tap into which is gonna be the high beam. I believe, yeah. Uh, number 12 is RT low beam. I believe that's what it is. LT and RT. I hope so. But found a perfect match right here. I didn't want to tap into any of the other ones because it's the important ones, but or should I just use an empty spot? But I'm gonna put y'all on the time lapse. I'm gonna stop talking and just finish this install. play right here this is the trigger wire running it through here right here I'm gonna fix this up in a little bit I'm gonna add some um, heat shrink or wire loom whatever run it right here and this is it right here my fuse tap and there goes the two that I unplugged positive negative with this one I think is the control the wire is right here. I'm gonna pull this back so I can get some more slack out of it. And look, I ran it through the wrong spot. I'm supposed to run it under here. Yeah. All right. So I tapped right into it right here. Now time to go put this in the car. Also brown. Also fix this brown right here. I've always hated this right here. So and I can finally fix it now that I got that little extra thing. Alright. So I decided to put it right here instead of right there. Boom. Existing holes right over here. Now what I gotta do now is ground it. did it pretty well I didn't ground it right here made it go through around the back right over here just go to the other side 
first. Let me get this right here. This thing is pretty big. And there goes some grounding points right over here. I am going to utilize this one right here. Pretty solid. And bam, the ground is done. It's nice and good. Give it a good tug. Boom. All right, time to bust that body panel back. All right, here goes my first start. See if it turned on. All right. Today is my first day installing this. And this is what I'm getting right here. Where you can help me. So all this work was for nothing. I guess I will leave it like this for now. I'm gonna unplug it and just wait until they get back to me tomorrow. Because right now they are closed, so can't do nothing right now. But but now, when I start the car, right here. Come on. With the PWM, this is all I get right here. It just stays right there. And it won't move. clearly states positive to positive negative to negative that's exactly what I did but for some reason it's not working That's all for the video, you guys. I will uh, reconvene after I get a response from them. Y'all stay tuned for the next video. Peace.